Hi parents, my name is Mr. Mark. Today I'm going to give you a class on how to read your child's Google Classroom. Let's get started. For this to work, the student has to be logged in correctly into Google Classroom so you can see the classroom. If you look on the right side of the page, right over here, you'll be able to see these two icons. Now the first icon shows you all the accounts that are assigned into the computer that you're working with. The second icon shows you the current account that's being used to display information. So this is my super student account. It's my example account that I use to teach the students uh, how to do different things in Google. So the first thing you have to do is open up the Google Apps Launcher and open up Google Classroom, which is right here. Once it's open, you find Google Classroom and you just click it and it opens up. Once Google Classroom opens, you will be able to see all the classes that the teachers have sent to your student, to your child, for them to turn in work and see assignments online. In this case, I have Homeroom Advisory, I have CSNDL Grade 6 and CSNDL Grade 8. So let's look at CSNDL Grade 6. So let's look at the layout to Google Classroom. Across the top, you have Stream, classwork and people dream shows you anything that's posted to google classroom will show up here if you want to look at the classwork tab just click in the middle and open up the classwork tab you can see the different assignments that the teachers have given now you can also see any resources the teacher added to the google classroom now uh, over here is people and that shows you who else is in the class then you have some other little tabs that you can click on view your work Google Meet, Google Calendar, and Class Drive folder. Over here is where a student can click on Google Meet. If, you, if a student clicks on the Google Meet, you'll get a message like this that say they can't create the meeting by themselves. That is controlled by the school and teachers. Over here is where they open up their calendar. If you open up the calendar, you're able to look at the assignments that were given out for the entire month, even if they're past, present, or future. So if you click on View Your Work, you will see a list of different things that the student has done. This is everything that's listed. For example, in these two assignments, super student didn't turn in any work. And down here, he got 100 for his work. So let's look at what he has to do on the main page by looking under upcoming. Let's look at view all. When you get to the view all, you have the assigned, missing, and done pages. Now, if there's nothing on this class, Go ahead and look at another class. Nope, nothing there. Has he finished work? Let's click done. Yes, he has. He's finished work, my little super student. And he got 100 for it. Well, let's go back to assign and let's check one of his other classes. Look at homework advisory eight. Oh, he has work due that's due on Friday, September 17th. Let's look at this assignment real quick. This is an International Peace Day assignment that I gave my students so they can create a poster about a UN Sustainable Development Goal. Well, how are they supposed to turn it in? I'm going to show you how that works for the student. Over here on the right side, it says your work, and it says add or create, then mark as done. And if they have a question they want to ask just me and not the rest of the class, they can add it here. Over here is where they add their class comments. So if they click add or create, they get the option to add something from their own Google Drive, to add a link from something on the internet, or to add a file that's located on their, on their own computer. If, for example, they were told to write an essay, they can create a new Google Doc, or if they need a presentation, they can create a new slide, or a worksheet, they can create a new Google Sheet, or a Google Drawing. <clears throat> they can create the drawing here. So let's say that the drawing was already created and you need to add it to this assignment. Well, here's the drawing over here. And an easy way to add it to the assignment could be to click here and add it as a link. The Google Drawing gets added and then it's time for the student to turn in the work. If the student does, does not turn in the work, then the teacher won't see it. So turn in has to be pressed. So if you look at your child's 
assignments and it's not turned in, uh, then the teacher's not going to grade it. So remember, if you open up Google Classroom, a quick way to see what needs to be done is just go to this to do button right over here. Turn it in. Make sure you click all classes and click assign missing. Whoa, look at that. And done. And then you'll get a good idea of everything the student is trying to do. If you have more questions, you can send me an email. My email is below. Or you can uh, ask your child to contact me with Google Chat and we can talk like that as well. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.